I mean, that's, that's my bread and butter. That's what I do. This school called New World School of the Arts in Miami. Um, I, 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 st I sang opera for four years there in five languages, studied classical music, did some jazz there as well. Um, but I started singing when I was seven years old. My, my parents, they throw this huge party um, back in Hialeah. This is it's the hood, y'all. It's the hood in Miami, all right? It ain't pretty, but it's, I think it's beautiful. It's, so I come from the streets, streets in Miami, and uh, we didn't know anyone in the industry. We, we didn't have money. We didn't have connections, nothing. So I was seven years old, and my parents threw this, part, were, threw this party, and my dad writes songs, but he did it as a hobby. So I was like, yeah, one day I'm going to sing one of my dad's songs, and I want to make him proud. And, uh, and I, I go to my parents, I go, I'd like to sing at this party. I was seven, so my parents laughed and said, okay, fine. If you learn like two, three songs, you could sing. I go, oh, I'll learn two, three songs. You just watch. So I, I, I learned my two, three songs. My mom bought me like this suit. I put it on. I slept in that suit like the night before. I didn't take it off. I gathered them in the family room. I did my performance for them. They were cracking up, but I was taking it so serious. I was like, why y'all laughing? I'm being for real right now. I looked like Scarface, y'all. Like a mini Al Pacino with like a blue collar outside the black suit. My shoes were huge. Like I looked ridiculous. And there's videos of this, which is the most embarrassing thing. Oh, yeah. So... The night came. I remember the feeling in my body. I, I, I really recommend to everyone that at that ratio, that statistic, that 1%, and I think it's a bit lower, of our race is who get, who's getting up in the morning and actually doing what they love. That blows my mind. That percentage should be way higher. We should take more risks, easier said than done, but we need to step out of our comfort zone because what I felt at seven years old in the backyard of my house that night is the most amazing feeling ever, ever. My dad says that I told him after I performed for my family and friends there, um, that I told him that I wanted to feel that forever. So he said, okay, we gotta do something about this. And since he didn't know anyone, every time he would find out that a neighbor was having like a party, he'd go ask them if I could sing in, in, their, in their backyard. And that's how literally I started. I went door from to door. backyard right. to backyard. And my goal was like, I want my neighborhood to, you know, like jam to my music. And that was like, like when I did the backyard party of the neighbor that was two blocks down, I was, I was like, the big time. we made it. <laughs> right. We made it. <laughs> so we did it dad we did it and across um, the street and everything <laughs> yeah so you know and it was tough man I mean I remember we tried to go to festivals no one would let us sing they were like you're nine ten years old what are you gonna do at a festival singing here my dad was like I promise you he's good you gotta let him sing so my dad one time I'll never forget this he actually found a way to get a limousine from a friend of his right and <laughs> got gathered a bunch of my cousins and and their friends printed some pictures of me and then they had Hold up. my dad had them stand outside of one of the stages at a festival with my pictures right and then the limo pulled up right <laughs> and I get it I get out and I'm cracking up because this is like my cousin like saying Carlos isn't that and she's acting so she, they're, ha they're cracking up but no one knows why they're cracking up and why I'm cracking up like we know each other and they're just pretending to be fans and believe it or not, the cameras kind of just shifted to us. And they were like, they told my dad, who, who is this kid? I was like, oh, he's, he's big overseas. He's big overseas. <laughs> like, man, I, nobody knows me. All right. Um, and they were like, they let us in backstage. We created like a, you know, a relationship with the person from the stage. Eventually, they let me sing in that stage. They gave me like a slot in, in, the, in the morning when there was like 10 people. But, you know, but we, we kind of just... Worked ourselves up locally, locally, and I mean, our, our story is a long one, y'all. We could be here forever, but our knuckles are tested. We've, we've had to knock on, on, on many doors. <laughs> yeah, many didn't open, but it takes that one door to open, and then, hey, keep going from there.